Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is flooding and then I will explain what is selective flooding. I will explain with examples. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network survey tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Let first of all explain what is flooding. Flooding is a method to send data in computer network. When one computer sends data, it sends it to the all the connected computers called neighbors. Those neighbors again send it to their neighbors. This continues until data reaches to all parts of the network. There is not only computer, there can be any device. For example, if you consider router, one router will send data to all the connected routers. And similarly, those routers will send data to their neighbors. Like that, data will keep on flooding until data is successfully reached to destination. For example, let us say there is router A. This router A want to send data to router D. But this router A don't know path to reach to router D. So what this router A will do is router A will send data to all its connected routers. As router A is connected to router B and router C. Now router A will send data to B and C as B and C are their neighbors. And B will send data to their connected routers. As B is connected to D, B will send data to D. And similarly, C neighbor is D. So C will send data to D. Now data will be reached to destination that is D. So in flooding, each router will send data to all its connected routers. And similarly, the routers will send data to their neighbors. Like that, data will keep on flooding until data is successfully reached to destination. These are applications of flooding. These applications are nothing but where this flooding is used. And the first one is broadcasting in networks. Guess we will use flooding in broadcast networks. For example, if one computer wants to send data to all its connected computers, flooding technique is used. And second one is used in dynamic routing protocol. Guess dynamic protocol like OSPF, where OSPF stands for Open Shortest Path First. This OSPF will use flooding. And third one is used in unknown networks. If sender do not know path to reach to destination, in that situations, flooding technique is used. These are disadvantages of flooding. And the first one is too many messages. Yes, each router will keep on sending data again and again to their neighbors, which will cause many copies of the data. And second disadvantage is bandwidth wastage, as messages will keep on repeating, which will consume a lot of space, which will slow down the network. In order to overcome this problem, we can use protocols like the Express algorithm and distance vector algorithm. By using these techniques, we can find the shortest route in order to reach to destination. So instead of using flooding, you can use techniques like Dijkstra's algorithm or distance vector routing algorithm. And third one is loops can happen. Because sometimes messages will keep on going in circular manner and it will never stop. In order to overcome this problem, we need to give sequence number for our messages. So whenever destination router receives the data based on sequence number, receiver router will identify whether message is already received or not. So in flooding, loops can happen. Loop is nothing but repeating our data again and again in circular manner. So in order to overcome this problem, so in order to overcome this problem, we need to give sequence number to our messages. And fourth one is conjunction. This conjunction means high traffic in network. As each router will keep on sending data to their neighbors, traffic will be very high in network, which will cause delay in data transfer and even sometimes complete data will be lost. This I will explain what is selective flooding. Name itself says selective flooding. So instead of sending data to all their neighbors, we will send data to only selective neighbors. So selective flooding is a better version of flooding. In this, the computer send data only some of its neighbors, not all. Those neighbors will again send data to their neighbors. So messages will reach to destination. Instead of sending data to all neighbors, data will be forwarded only to selective neighbors, which will reduce number of messages in network. So when compared to flooding, selective flooding is fast. This is example. For example, this computer wants to send data only to this computer as this computer is connected to this router, this router and this router. Instead of sending data to all its routers, this computer will send data to only this router. So by using this router, data will be reached to destination. This is meaning of selective flooding. 